Islanders, many in the cruise world today are asking the same question, where's Kevin McGrath? We shared this story with you earlier in the week. A family sailed together on board the Carnival Conquest. They enjoyed celebrating their dad's 60th birthday together. They saw each other late into the evening, just a few hours before it was time to get off the ship. They saw their brother, Kevin. They saw their cousin. They saw their friend. Their family member, they woke up that morning to get off the ship and Kevin can't be found. Carnival says he did not go overboard. Officials have been looking for him. We have the latest today as his family begins to speak out to national media and this story gains traction across the country. We will share the latest on the show today. Plus, a brand new cruise ship set to debut in December of this year, <laughs> just a few months away. A big announcement today, that cruise ship is now delayed. We will share that with you. The cruise line deciding to delay the inaugural voyage. We'll also talk about this. Is Carnival throwing in the towel when it comes to towel animals? Rumors online say that the towel animal program is getting the boot. We'll talk the latest on cruise news from Carnival as well. We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. A big happy Thursday to all you Islanders. We hope that you're having a great day. We are on Island Time. I am Derek. Let's drop our anchors and take some time to relax in the islands together as we catch up on the latest in cruise news. So many of you are supportive of our channel. We appreciate that. We get emails every single day of thoughts that you have on things we can do about the show. We get emails, of course, to help plan your cruise or take over your cruise. We appreciate all the ways that you support us. There are many people, too, that watch our show every single day. They're not subscribers yet, but we hope that they become subscribers of this channel and active members of this Island Time community. Let's jump Jump right into the cruise news today. We've got a lot to share with you, including an update to a story that I shared earlier in the week. I'd mentioned this story just a couple of days ago. A family who had cruised on board the Carnival Conquest out of Miami celebrating their father's 60th birthday. They had a great time together. They had a great cruise together. They stayed up even that last night. We all know how that last night goes, right? We should be packing. We should be wrapping up the cruise. We might get one more, uh, one more hour on Lido Deck, one more movie under the stars. The family stayed up together and they enjoyed each other's company. They enjoyed music and dancing in the nightclub well into 1 or 2 a.m. into the evening, hours before they were set to get off the ship. And at about 7 a.m., the family had agreed, let's meet for breakfast, we'll get off the ship. And you know this part of the story because we shared it a couple of days ago. Kevin McGrath never showed up. Uh, officials came on. The Coast Guard started to search the waters around the port there in Miami, and they did not find anything. The Miami-Dade Police Department came on to help investigate, to look. Maybe he was hiding somewhere on the ship. They couldn't find anything. The family members are speaking out. We'll talk about that here in just a second. I want to point this out as well. Carnival, uh, they've tried to help in this investigation. They've been clear uh, to those in the media, and they're, they're sharing this. They looked at surveillance video. The family said, can you please look at the surveillance? They looked at the surveillance video. They reviewed the sensors on the conquest. When someone goes overboard, there are sensors that are supposed to notify the ship's crew that someone has indeed gone overboard. Carnival shares. There's no surveillance video of Kevin going overboard. There's no sensors that went off. Not saying I guess that it's impossible that that happened, but Carnival is saying that's not what we found. His family is speaking out. His sister had this to say. We know that at 3.30 in the morning, he used the key card to get back in the room, and any time between then and 7.30 in the morning was when he was supposed to meet his family for breakfast, and that is when he went missing. His cousin is also speaking out, posting on social media this right here. My cousin is missing. We were on a cruise with our family. He did not leave the ship with us. According to Carnival, he was not detected going overboard. However, the Carnival Conquest does not have cameras in their hallways or the nightclub. There are two, these are two very important areas, in my opinion, as it pertains to passenger safety. They don't have cameras simply because they aren't required to. Carnival, we need answers. Your main priority should be the safety of your passengers, yet you showed no concern and cruised off within a few hours of my cousin being reported missing. Your captain showed no care or concern for my family as you couldn't even take five minutes to speak to us. Of course, we know that Carnival took time to search the ship. They took time to involve 
the authorities and agencies that they needed to. But Kevin Cousins here, maybe his cousin has a point about cameras. Many of the new cruise ships across the industry or those who have been through dry dock have an extensive camera system. There are cameras in all the public venues. There are cameras in stairwells and in elevator corridors, sometimes in elevators. Be careful what you're doing on the elevator. But some of the old ships don't have the extensive systems, uh, camera systems in hallways and some public venues like nightclubs. I don't know necessarily if it's Carnival's fault. In this situation, I agree that cameras should be in public places for sure on cruise ships to prevent uh, possible crimes and to help find people who are doing things they shouldn't be doing. But uh, Kevin's cousin here pointing to Carnival and their lack of cameras as maybe something that they need to address. Do you agree with that? I think that, yes, we do need cameras, of course, in the hallways. As far as uh, the Conquest leaving port hours later, that is standard, right? We know that when we arrive on disembarkation day, we're getting off the ship and new people are getting on, on the ship and the ship is leaving. Uh, Carnival was confident that Kevin was not on board. A search took place. They could not find him. Maybe he is on board. Maybe he's somewhere on board. I don't know. Uh, we hope that Kevin is found safe. We are praying for families and friends of Kevin, and we will keep you posted on that story. Let's talk about this next cruise news story here. Several people upset as a cruise ship that was set to sail around Christmas time this December is delayed. Many of you probably heard this story and thought, oh no, the Carnival Jubilee is delayed. That is not the story. Instead, it's Virgin Voyages. Brilliant lady. She is going to be delayed. And this was a surprise to many people. Listen to this story here. The brilliant lady, Virgin Voyages, fourth cruise ship. Uh, Virgin Voyages, who have, uh, have grown so much since the cruising restart now, building their fourth ship. They get rave reviews. The adults-only cruise line selling from Miami and other ports in the world shared that the brilliant lady will indeed not sell this December, and they did not release when the ship actually will sell. We know that cancellations were sent out, sent out between December of this year through next April, but we don't have the new inaugural date yet. Here's what Virgin Voyages had to say about this news. Despite careful planning, we are facing unexpected construction, supply chain, and staffing challenges that have delayed the introduction of Brilliant Lady. We want to make sure that when the ship launches, we can deliver the standards our sailors, the passengers, have come to expect from an award-winning brand like Virgin Voyages. Many of us found this news surprising because... There was no hint that it was coming. Brilliant lady, listen to this. She was floated out. She was floated out November of 2022. She was floated out approaching a year ago. The float out took place. The interior work started to take place on the ship. Many of you who are following the construction of the icon of the seas know that she's set to sell in January. She was floated out just a couple of months ago. The uh, Carnival Jubilee, she's set to sell in December and she was just floated out last month. Uh, so it's interesting here, the timing, this was unexpected. Guests who have been uh, impacted have been notified. They're going to receive a generous offer. Uh, they're gonna be able to rebook uh, a similar cruise on one of the other three Virgin Voyages ship, uh, ships. If they want to do so, they're gonna be given onboard credit if they want to do so as well. I say all that to say this, there are some that are worried about the Carnival Jubilee and her being delayed. Let me make this clear right here. There's no news, no insinuation that the Jubilee will be delayed. She was floated out. She's going to start her sea trials very, very soon. Uh, and we are confident that the Jubilee is going to set sail December the 23rd of this year. We are so confident. We put our money where our mouth is. We are booked on that inaugural selling December the 23rd. And we cannot wait to share our experience and the ship with you. Let's move on to this story. This has been making its way across social media. This was a rumor that was started on social media about Carnival throwing in the towel on the towel animal program on board its ships. Of course, this program has been around for a long, long time. One of the staples of the experience, the fun experience, and something that you can talk to Carnival cruisers for decades. And they can talk about the towel animals that have been left in their stateroom. A rumor was shared on Facebook. Imagine that. Imagine a rumor was shared on Facebook. The rumor uh, basically stated that starting November the 1st, cabin stewards would not leave towel animals in your cabin anymore. They cited, uh, and at least they made sense maybe of the rumor, that it takes too much time to make the towel animals, that it's a waste, the towel animal itself. Some people walk into the cabin, they hit the towel animal off the bed, 
Of course, every towel animal that's made uh, eventually finds itself in a washing machine, a drying machine, and it has to be folded again. And so some people said it was just a waste of resources and it was time to get rid of the towel animal. Some were upset about this, as this is part of the experience. Some people save their towel animals. They take pictures of their towel animals. The kiddos, I know from experience, love towel animals. While some said, well, this kind of makes sense. Uh, but it's a rumor. John Hill shared recently and said that this is 100% false. Ridiculous, nonsensical information. We are not removing the towel animals. They remain an iconic part of what we have been for 52 years, and they always will be. The towel animals will continue to provide joy for cruisers who come in in the evenings, open their cabin door, and there sets a surprise for them. We enjoy the towel animals. Our kiddos especially enjoy the towel animals. We love the towel animal invasion and parade on sea days on longer ships where you go out to Lido Deck uh, one morning and towel animals have invaded Lido Deck. It's fun to see the creativity. And honestly, it doesn't take long for cabin stewards to make them. If you've seen them make towel animals, it literally takes less than two minutes for them to make the towel animals. And so we're excited that they're staying, but some people said hey, it's time to go. Share your thoughts on towel animals. And if it is indeed part of the experience and brand that Carnival has built for over 50 years, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Islanders already, that is our time today. Uh, we enjoyed sharing the latest cruise news with you. If you enjoy the news, we ask you to just like the video. Like the video is all you have to do. If you wanna leave a comment below, we would love to hear your thoughts. Remember, our Facebook page is active and full of people cruising every single day. We wake up uh, every morning and people are posting pictures of where they are at in the world on a cruise ship. We invite you to join that page. The link to our Facebook page is in the description of this video below. We hope that you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Island Time.